Navigators is festival style events giving the public a chance to see how three of our best directors take their first steps in creating groundbreaking performance work. Now to tell us more, please welcome to the cafe one of those directors, Malia Johnston and performer Fasitua Amosa. Yes. Hey guys. Yeah. Nice to have you here. Firstly, Emily, you're one of the three directors. Uh, it's you, Katie Wolf, and Kate Parker, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us a little bit about your show? Um, well, my piece is called Moon, and um, so it's a work in development, but we'll be presenting uh, with the audience um, 40 minutes excerpt of that work. Um, I'm working with uh, collaborators, uh, Eden Mulholland, who's a musician, so all the music is new, uh, and also the AV design as well. And we've invited um, young writers to contribute to the concept. So right, so given that, how much of this show is already written? Oh, no, it's brand new. So, oh, okay. yeah, so we, we started, um, yeah, we've been in discussions with it, but um, the musicians arrived last week uh, and they've d done a little bit of work prior, but it's all very fresh and raw. And wow. And, so, and the public yeah. are actually, with this festival, they're going to, the public are going to have a say, aren't they? Yeah. In, the, in the, what's going to be ultimately the finished product. That's right. Well, I mean, you know, it's a relationship with the audience. You know, when you're making new work and you really want to be able to share what you're doing with them and then feed that back into the final product. Fantastic, wow. and Fussy Tua, I mean, you know, you're a very well-known face in New Zealand. <laughs> um, tell us more about the Haka Party incident that you're starring in. Yeah, so I'm working with Katie Wolf and uh, Aroha Rawson, um, uh, they're making a documentary theatre piece, which is a kind of a new genre for me, but it's based on verbatim style theatre, right? which is where you take real people's, um, you know, interviews and excerpts and, that and use those words as opposed to writing your own. And so it's based around the Haka Party incident, which happened in 79, which was a, the engineering school in Auckland used to have a capping week stunt where they'd do a mock haka and all those guys would get into grass skirts and tattoo themselves with lipstick, okay. get really drunk and do a mock haka as, to celebrate capping week. And for about 20, it started in the 50s, so right. by the time it got to the 70s, it had been in this established tradition that at the same time, Māori were writing to them saying, can you please not? Mm. So in 79, a group called Hetawa decided that uh, enough was enough. They went to go and say, hey, could you stop that? But then it escalated into a bit of a dust-up um, that became known as the Haka Party incident. So with this show, we're taking interviews from old, um, old uh, interviews like on TV and catching up with some of the people um, 20 years later to get their side of the story and building together this piece um, from both sides of what what it was and it sort of questions, you know, is it okay to do that? This is the first time yeah. that it's like, you know, the word racist was being thrown around and being introduced into the conversation and is it racist, is it not racist? Is it politically correct? Yeah, and all yeah, these things, so, yeah. Okay. So you, I mean, there's different sides obviously in this in this play, so mm. what side do you get to play? Well, I get to play some of the, the Polynesian and the Māori sort of activists that were around at the time, a part of this group called Hetawa. Some great um, footage of interviews that, that they've done in the past and, and so, yeah. It's really interesting. No, but yeah. it's a great little piece of history too mm. that I think we probably could learn a lot from. And <sighs> Malia, I was thinking, is this is this a scary way to do a show? You know, inviting people to sort of see the process. Would you not rather just have a finished product that they see? Yeah, I mean, I've been doing this for a while, so yeah, it, it is scary, but um, I'm really excited by the relationship with, with the audience. Well, um, what does that add to the show? It just it just adds um, it, it just allows us to really get a sense we're, we're wanting to work with technology and integrate the audience in a in a really warm and friendly way not in a scary way we don't want to like make yeah, people don't want to terrify yeah us. no <laughs> there's going to be none of that because I absolutely hate that myself Good. but um, but we really want to be people to be able to contribute and so we're looking for ways that we can incorporate that into the performance and so we really need to research that with the people we can't just sort of make it up on the spot no. and then present it we need to yeah. have a play with that so oh, that's going to be fun yeah it's, it's going to really be cool quite an experience now there's yeah. another show. Another play too from this, the, the Wild Seed Thief from Kate Parker. What do you guys know about that one? Um, well, Kate's uh, very much into physical theatre and puppetry, and she's got an um, amazing creative brain. And she's uh, working with the idea of the um, precious cardi seeds and how they're um, endangered. And so she's constructing a physical theatre and visual work in response to that. That's going to be family friendly as well. Wow. Nice work. And Tua, what do you love about this concept? Um, I just love the concept of taking uh, something that you'd normally see on a screen, like documentaries. We know documentaries, we see yeah. a lot of them, and presenting so that, but in a theatrical, uh, yeah. you know, version of something that includes, you know, uh, old screen footage and performance, you know, because otherwise if it's too much screen, you may as well just watch it on a screen. Yeah. If it's all theatre, then it may as well be all theatre. So yeah. where's the relationship between the two things to present um, a bit of history 
uh, live. It yeah. sounds yeah. intriguing. You know what yeah. I like about it too? They sound like three completely different things as well. Mm -hmm. Hey, thank you so much guys yeah, for coming in awesome. and explaining yeah. it to us. Now, if you want to find out more about the Navigators Festival, which opens tomorrow ahead, you can head along to the website atc.co.nz.